Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and we're back with some more Kirby 64. In the last episode, we had quite a, well, burning time here in Neo Star Ga uh, I was going to say Neo Star Galaxy, like I'm playing Mario Galaxy. Uh, Neo Star, with the boss fight there, and we did complete it, 100%, but now we move on to Shiver Star, and uh, fun fact, a lot of people already say this, but yes, that is indeed the Earth. It is a post-apocalyptic Earth. Uh, I guess that's the second time we've actually ever seen a post-apocalyptic Earth in any of our Let's Plays. I guess the first one being Pikmin. But yeah, you can kind of see the map out each continent. You see, like, North America over here with South America. You have Europe over here with Africa, Asia, and Oceania. And you can see at the bottom there is Antarctica. And obviously the moon is circling around. It's pretty cool, honestly. I, I always like it when they do stuff like that, like show the real world in Nintendo games. So anyways, let's begin Shiver Star, probably one of the most well-known, like, areas in this game. Bombs and spikes, why not? If we become a Gordo, we could spit out some spikes, too. Oh, wow, never mind. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty cool power-up, we haven't really gone over that. Although it does have some weird properties from what it seems. Uh, definitely needs to be like a skill based one, but... I wonder, actually, Double Ice could actually be good. I never tried it, let's see. And yeah, we become a giant, uh... Ball of snow. Oh wow, did we grow bigger? Oh, that poor penguin. Hey, you get to spit everybody out like that. That's actually pretty cool. Although, I feel like something's under here. It feels like something... That something should be under. I don't know. I could be right, could be wrong. We could always go back to it later. And luckily, all these uh, enemies that are popping up out of nowhere are going to be easily ran over by us. I believe, oh, I thought that the, they could be used for like a projectile for a month, but I guess not. I could be wrong there, though. No. It was too good to be true. Alright. These slopes are getting quite steep. There's a piece of cake there for healing. Oh, well, somehow we got that guy. Although, I feel like there should be something over here. Uh, also, this reminds me a lot of a... Uh, what the hell is that place called from uh, People on 64? Shiver City? Reminds me, this area kind of reminds me of, of it a bit. Like, I don't know, just the atmosphere of it that whole area in that game. I recently uh, replayed Paper Mario not too long ago, and uh, I, it was the first time I 100%ed it, and I honestly enjoyed it a lot more on this uh, this most recent playthrough. And uh, a lot of the people that have been saying, like, Paper Mario is much better than uh, what they remembered, and I agree, like, wow, that game is still holds up really well. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that also does bring me to the point of Thousand Year Door. Like, its remake is coming out, and I was super hyped for it. And I still am, like... It's still crazy that that even happened, but... Yeah, now I'm just, uh, waiting actually patiently for that, uh, remake to come out, because that's the next time I'm probably going to be playing it. Like, I promised myself not to replay, uh, TTYD. But, uh, anyways, enough Paper Mario that we're going to be playing some... Kirby now, and oh, we made a crash landing. I want a Christmas tree, so that's cute. Also, I realized that uh, I think enemies. Oh, dang. Yeah, I think enemies have like specific weaknesses to like types in a way. There we go, take you out, and I believe, did we get? Yes, we did. Uh. It's up there. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Is there supposed to be some fire I'm supposed to be using? I guess... Uh, 
so there's some water in here. Well, I don't think there's really anything down here. We did miss out on one, but we did get one earlier. At least. There's some fish in there, I just realized that. Some nice cute little detail. Anyways, uh... As we're progressing... I'm realizing, uh... How fun I've been enjoying this game, honestly. This game has been uh, quite fun. I've never really like really played through it too much, and the last time I really did play through it, I didn't really. Uh, I was like much younger, so I don't really remember much of it. I decided to replay it because I thought it would be nice. It was one of my favorite Kirby games. I feel like it still holds up in a lot of aspects, especially like me remembering what stuff is broken. Because yeah, trust me, a lot of stuff is still broken from what I remember. Uh, let's actually see if we can get uh, ice and uh, boomerang. Oh, wow, that particle effect looks weird. The snow. Oh. Not need for that to happen. Some health, please, would be nice. Yes, we get some. Alright. There's some more over here. Okay, let's see how what this one is. Ever seen it? Oh, he ice skates! That's so cute! I'm sorry, I got I, I was like finding that quite adorable. And he's also skiing underwater. That's kind of fun. Not skiing. Ugh. Not skiing. <sighs> Can't even speak what the actual thing is. Skating underwater, which is pretty funny and cute. Well, I don't know how useful it will be against enemies. So yeah, I guess that was the one that we missed in there, but I'm not sure what we needed. So we'll go back to that later and I'll figure it out. Um, there's no cracks up here. Come on, keep on skating, Kirby. I probably It probably does increase speed under the water. Also, I hope you guys... Yeah, it does, it does make you go a lot faster. I'm not sure if it makes you, like, hit anything. Yeah. It's just only for speed purposes, and also for doing- Oh wait, hold on! We have the tricks, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. Can I please get that? Alright. Oh, whoa, that hitbox is massive! But then again, Kirby is used to massive hitboxes. You know, it's up to in, in uh, Smash 64. Oh my god, we got flattened. Okay, never mind. I shouldn't be going uh, too risky. Please, for the love of god. Oh my god, I ran right into that. That's unfortunate. That power-up is still very fun. That was actually a really fun power-up. Oh wow, we could get it again. I realize, despite how little the power-ups are in this game, the dual power-ups really make up for it. Like, it really uh, enhances, like, you don't get a lot of these power-ups. Like, you don't really think about, oh, I haven't done this one yet. Like, oh, can I? Oh my god. Like, you don't really think about, like, oh, I haven't done this one yet, or, uh, that one's new, I should try it out. Like, you... Can I hop on that one? I thought... Oh my god. Just when I said, like, oh yeah, the hitboxes are massive. Nope, just immediately proven wrong. Apparently my hitboxes weren't worth a damn. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Damn. You know what, this game messed up my, tr my train of thought. So far, so good. Oh, can we make it past 
where we die. Oh my! He got eaten immediately. Oh my god! And again, what? It? Oh, I just realized this witch appears quite often. I wonder if that's like foreshadowing anything. Not foreshadowing anything. I don't think they're really important. But I wonder who that witch character is. Again, my f my memory with this game is very fading, so please don't judge me. Um, wow, that took a really long time. All right, let's jump down and be blasted off. Yeah, that kind of looks like a donut, honestly. And again, we're pretty used to Kirby uh, having uh, dessert themes and whatnot, just food themes in general. And we're in the clouds, and this also reminds me of Paper Mario. Wow, this, yeah, this ep this entire episode has basically been like, oh yeah, this reminds me of Paper Mario. Oh, this thing also reminds me of Paper Mario. Yeah, there it is again. Oh my god, that's scary. Oh, there's one under there, you can see it very clearly. Got a one-up, nice. Oh my god, did not want to get caught by that. Some wind gusts. Yeah, definitely keeps our weight up. Free health to regain, why not? It's always good to get. Nice. Fully healed, wow. Oh my god, we just got, got like blasted right into that by the gust of wind underneath us. Anything here... doesn't appear to be. Alright, moving on. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, Chapter 6, with the, uh, the uh, clouds with, uh, oh my god, above flower fields. Got more of these guys that are going to be launching us. And this one's going to be having a directional one, I just realized. So I'm guessing there might also be a hidden crystal shard. Yep, right there. I actually went the right way. Wow. Alright, and we'll head this one straight up. So, well, yeah, it's two out of three. Also, I realize how much those look like bowling pins. Not bowling pins up. Bowling balls, excuse me. I also mentioned, I think, in earlier episodes how they also kind of look like a Void Termina from Star Allies. Alright, some precision platforming. Oh, these rock eyes, too. How do they even end up up here? Who just launches a rock up to the clouds? I missed the. Just right when we're doing some perfect platforming, and then we died. Double the bomb? Whoa! We fire ballistic missiles! That homing ballistic missiles! Well, not ballistic missiles, but just regular missiles, but still, homing missiles. Yeah, that is uh, really strong. Also, the platforms extending like that kind of remind me a bit of a. Uh, Ga uh, not a galaxy, uh, it's like Mario Sunshine. Just a lot of Mario stuff I'm thinking of. Like, uh, whenever you spray the clouds and they expand. In size. Well, this just one-shots everything. Double bombs, I, I can't believe I haven't thought about using that. Oh, when you hold it, if you hold it, you actually get to fire multiple. Okay. That's honestly super broken. Especially if it's a multi-enemy room you have to go through. Anything up ahead, and just this one soul thing here. Alright. Higher and higher we go. When will we stop? Who knows? Uh. That's not a crystal shard. 
Got a little bit excited there. I feel like they did that on purpose to confuse the, the viewer. Or not the viewer, but the player. Can I please get that? Oh, dang, I thought uh, something was going to be hidden, but I guess not. Whoa! Oh, uh, there's another one over there. I keep thinking it's gonna be a crystal shard, especially with like the blue coloring, but again, it's like confusing me. Ugh. And I think we might be at the end of the level. Oh wait, no, we have a boss fight here. No! Oh my god. Can I please? That did a lot of damage, but not the kind that I wanted. How did that not hit? And how am I supposed to go through that? Wow, another one that we know where it is, but we can't get to it. Unfortunate. Grab that. Anyways, I think we're going to end off the episode here. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer, but... Oh, a little bit... Sh well, a little bit at least one more uh, level, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, that first level took a little bit longer than expected. But anyways, love my videos and the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Next time on Kirby... And the Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, we shall be finishing off Shiver Star. So yes, we got two more levels just ahead of us and the boss. Alright, the appearance for this next one. All you need is the bomb and fire one. And you get it right up here. Yeah, that's all you need to do, just blast it with that. Alright, so all you needed was the lightning rod power-up, and you would get that. <laughs> so anyways, love my videos with the like button. Make sure, sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Next time on Kirby64, we will be finishing up Shiver Star, as I mentioned earlier.